Okay, so today we are looking at a journaling application known as Red Notebook. Now this journaling application is uh, tag driven, so it is searchable via either word cloud or by tag or category uh, as you enter them in and also it is driven by calendars. So you can see here on the left hand side, we have a calendar here that, uh, that for different days it has different entries. Now basically the idea behind this is that you enter your text in uh, in basic HTML, uh, HTML-ish, I'm not going to say exactly HTML, but you can enter your uh, text entries here either via the keyboard shortcuts or the HTML type code. So you can just say uh, to-do list like that, put another equal sign, and when you preview it will show up as a bold title. Now there is other ways around this, you can of course go insert and then you can ask it to insert a title. Then you place your title text up here where you want it to and you will achieve the same result. Essentially everything that you do in this application is achievable by the keyboard which is great for those who are keyboard junkies but at the same time it is easy to grapple for those who are just interested in a GUI. And you can see here that you can insert different pictures, bullet lists, lines, date time, line break etc. And then all your formatting can also be handled here as well which is also very helpful. So basically what happens is say if I come in here and just uh, start typing away um, then once you've finished you come over here and you can uh, add a tag and uh, and you can see here that it, it already has existing categories which it's already set up for you which is quite nice and then you can write an entry based on what sort of tag it is so I can say OK and then I can also add an annotation which is along the similar idea but slightly more personalized so I can just say to do and then write an entry uh, maybe for doing nothing and then once I'm finished, uh, it will add those tags there and then I can search for those tags in the search field on the left here. So then if I search for to-do, you can see it comes up with the to-do list and you can see I've got some other to-dos going on here with uh, or different dates uh, set in there as well. So basically when, you, uh, when you're when you finished with your journal entry, uh, maybe for the week, for the month, etc., and you want to export it, that is very easy to do. So basically that is what a final product of this is going to look like. So once you're finished editing, you can hit preview, that's what it's going to look like, and then it says, uh, as you can see down here, save and export. So you come up here to the journal and you can export it to whatever you wish. So the little export wizard comes up here, and then you can ask it to export to either a text, HTML, latex, or PDF. And so we're gonna to export to PDF. And then you can also select the date range, which is also very helpful. So you don't have to export your whole journal, just the dates that you select if you so wish. So we can start from here and finish there, and that's fine. And then you can also uh, tell it to export particular tags or export all of them. So if, for instance, you have a uh, like a blog style and then maybe a private journal and you only want to export the blog style ones, you just come in here and select the ones which you have tagged, uh, your blog or whatever, and then, um, and then simply plop them in there and you're away and it will only export those with that, with that particular tag, which is quite helpful. Then you come in and you can simply uh, tell what file you want to save it to, hit apply, and then in your home folder, Red Notebook Export, which you can see is all uh, is all polished and it comes up nicely in a lovely PDF with uh, with line breaks and dates automatically inserted, which is very very nice. Also, you'll notice here we have the word cloud, which uh, your most commonly used words will show up here in this word word cloud, which just makes it more convenient to access uh, the most commonly used words. So you can see here category appears three times and it shows you inside that little panel there. Uh, now the other nice thing about this application is that you can back up your journal as well, which is also very helpful. It backs it up as a simple .zip folder that you can add to or take away from as necessary. Uh, the other nice thing is it does support spell checking and also you can change things like the font or the uh, date time excluding from clouds and or allow small words in the cloud. So uh, for those words under four letters, they generally don't include them because they're not that significant. You can add words that are significant to you. Uh, you, can order, you can also ask it to close to the system tray or load at startup, which is quite nice or annoying depending on your preference. And, uh, and honestly, it's quite a nice little application. It is cross-platform, so it is available for Windows and Linux. Uh, it is available in the default Ubuntu repos and, and the repos of most other distributions such as OpenSUSE, PC Linux OS, Mandriva, Fedora, etc. 
And honestly, that's all I've got to say about this application. It's very, very convenient for keeping a date track on all your journal entries, but also it's nice having the convenience of tags there. In honesty, it takes it takes cues from our photo management and puts them together with a classic calendar-based journaling, and it really brings it together in a nice, cohesive application that's easy to understand. And once you get used to the uh, once you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, can also be very convenient. And to help you get along with getting used to those keyboard shortcuts, they have quite an extensive help section as well. So you can see here they do have a locally installed help mode and they really do help explain things a lot. They explain um, how tags work, how you can embed images and files and links, etc. They've got templates there you can search and it also helps you to synchronize across multiple computers. Uh, they tell you how to utilize Ubuntu One and Dropbox or directly saving to an FTP or SSH server, external sync with remote viewer, dual boot, portable mode, etc. They've got wonderful documentation there. So I think for that alone it's worth checking out. And, uh, and you can see here we've got our list of keyboard shortcuts and it also helps you with things like encryption and adding tags, etc. So that is all very, very helpful stuff and it's great to see that they do have this kind of documentation available as these sort of applications aren't always the easiest to, uh, to look at at first round. Having said that, very nice application and I definitely recommend it for all those who are interested in writing out there and anybody who, uh, anybody who has kept a journal for any any period of time or even a blog will know how nice it is to have a neatly categorized blogging journal entry system. So that's Red Notebook, definitely worth checking out, available for Windows and Linux, and links will be in the description box.